Justin, it is good to see you today. We're talking about two bond alternatives to consider right now. And the reason we are talking about this is because of the 60-40 portfolio, right? It recently saw the second worst six-month period in the last 50 years. Both stocks and bonds are declining. And Dustin, you see two very specific problems with the 60-40 right now. What are they? Right. So the first problem, at least right now, it's very difficult to hedge or remove the stock risk from a portfolio simply by adding bonds. That's mm -hmm. worked very well in the past, but it's but it's not working very well this year. And the reason for that, you know, the Fed's made it clear they're very hawkish. They're focused on reducing inflation and they're more concerned with that than they are fallout in markets. So what does that mean for bonds? Well, as interest rates go up or the market anticipates interest rates going up, new bonds paying higher interest rates become more attractive to investors than the older bonds paying, you know, lower interest rates or coupons. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why the bonds in your portfolio have gone down in value this year. Mm -hmm. um, the other, uh, the other problem that, um, that we see is, you know, if we look at starting rates and, and returns on bonds, um, historically in the eighties, you know, you were looking at about a 12% starting rate and return. That's nice. mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. In the early two thousands, the 7% range. And now we're looking at a two to 4% range. So we can't look at the performance of a 60, 40 portfolio historically and assume that if we've still got 40% of that portfolio in bonds, which are, which are paying much lower rates and returns, we can't assume that we're going to have the same return experience going forward. Right, right. We only wish. All right. So let's move into then some of the bond alternatives that you're suggesting people consider. And first on your list, structured notes. What are they? Yeah, structured notes. So uh, this has been a really a, a attractive option. We've, we've uh, made more and more use of, particularly this year. Uh, these are notes that uh, our investment team at Brookstone Capital Management, they go out into the marketplace and they negotiate these custom notes for our clients uh, with large banks each month. So custom instrument, uh, unfortunately, something you can't just go down to your local bank branch and buy. But uh, the reason that we've that we've been focused on structured notes uh, as a satellite in our portfolios is we've been able to get uh, a coupon rate currently on these structured notes that's two to three times um, the yield that we can currently get on dividend paying stocks or most bonds. And uh, and when we ladder these structured notes, um, when we ladder these structured notes, we end up with a low volatility way to uh, achieve an above average yield. And in an environment where we've got uh, high volatility and high inflation, that's very attractive. Yeah, absolutely. Next on your list, buffered or defined outcome ETFs. I feel like I'm hearing more and more about these lately. Sure, sure. So buffered ETFs, it's just a form of hedged equity. You know, if we can't use bonds effectively to hedge stock risk right now, we can use options. Mm -hmm. So um, these buffered ETFs, they've got a defined preset outcome uh, and they've got an outcome period, typically a year. So um, the, the money manager, they buy uh, put options that limits our downside losses, but we can still participate in gains on an index like, for example, the S&P 500 up to a cap. So, um, so we know from the outset when we purchase one of these ETFs with a high degree of confidence, what uh, our upside potential is, and we know with a high degree of confidence what our downside exposure is. It's just a way to remove some of the stock risk from a portfolio without using bonds because, again, that's not been an effective strategy this year. Right now. Yeah. Helps me with a little bit of the peace of mind, too, which is always important. For sure. Right. Dustin, if somebody has questions about these alternatives that you're suggesting, what's the best way to reach you? Uh, they can uh, send me a question, just shoot me a text at, at the number below, or they can visit the website at longlivemymoney.com. All right. Very easy. Dustin, thank you very much. Thank you, Erin.